video i want to be up close and personal with you guys if that's how you say it i'm usually more far, further back but i just don't know i just want to be close so you can see everything sometimes i just prefer that but i am just looking for some oh please tell me yes. i asap need some lip balm they're so dry that's disgusting there you go by the way this is the wonder kiss uh, lip plumping gloss it's so good okay so the first thing i'm going to do is fill in my brows i wanted to keep this full full face of maybelline but do you know what i still need to get some more bits so let me know if you still want to see a full face of maybelline but i'm going to be using the new total temptation brow definer this is what it looks like i am using the shade deep brown and it's so cute it has a super tiny spoolie on this end and then you've got kind of like an angled slanted applicator for the product um it's very similar to the uh, anastasia brow definer but the brush the spoolie is so cute like it'll definitely get right in there into your brows so i'm just gonna brush that through Okay, I'm already loving that. Do the other side. I'm then going to use some of my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in medium dark. I'm going to brush this through my brow hairs. If you don't have this brow gel, like what, what what is going on you need this brow gel it's so good and it's affordable and it lasts for so long i don't even remember. this is my first one i've ever bought and there's still so much product left he like lifts them up and you can really see like each hair can you see that some concealer i'm going to use my makeup revolution conceal define concealer in c12 so just take I, I do this because I don't like to put it on the back of my hand because then I forget and then I walk out the house and I find myself with a blob of makeup on my hand I'm actually getting ready to film a cooking video one of my first cooking videos I mean I do vlog some of my cooking but you guys request like cooking videos so much so I thought why not just do it you see this one it's like shh this one's like do you know what i mean <laughs> i'm gonna go on to eyes so i'm gonna use the same makeup revolution concealer not only do i get a lot of um, requests from you from you guys to do um like more food videos where's my sponge as i was saying not only do you guys ask me all the time to do more food videos especially when i like insta post it like you know on my insta story and stuff um I did a poll yesterday asking you guys what you want to see on my channel, on my Insta story. So definitely follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm mostly um, lately, especially especially with the Snapchat update. Like I just don't get along with it. It's not that I don't know how to use it. It's just so long. It's just so long. I don't see the people I want to see. Even you guys don't even see what I'm posting. So I'm just like, what's the point, you know? But then some of you still want me to be on there so i still post every now and then but i'm mostly on instagram so make sure to follow me on there if you haven't already it's underscore with two s's and two a's at the end okay before i go on um i'm gonna use my subculture palette i'm using this because this is not really a tutorial this is more of like a get ready with me and i'm using this because i want to get through it like i feel bad that i'm not using it and some of the colors like this one right here is beautiful and it is a very very hard palette to work with as you will see in this video you don't have to use this palette you don't have to get it i'm not telling you to get it i just love i just really like the colors but it's so hard to blend and sometimes when you put the colors together they go funny so this is just gonna either go wrong or i don't even know but yeah i'm gonna be using the shade dawn actually no i'm not even gonna use that i'm just gonna use my, my banana dreams powder to set my concealer
on my Instagram, I, I put a poll on my Instagram and asked you guys, do you want to see more food videos? And that was one, one of the ones that got, you know, a lot of yeses. So I thought, do you know what? I want some food, good food today. I'm going to film a dessert video today. But I'm going, I'm going to eat that. I want to actually eat it. So it's probably going to, you've probably already seen it already, but if not, it'll be up soon. Um, and if it is up, I'll link it in the info box if you guys want to check it out. But you guys are so sweet. Like, you follow my videos so much and I appreciate that so much. But I'm going to be using New Wave, this shade right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the shadow and we're going to first pack it on. Pack it all on. I'm going to grab another brush and just diffuse that out. Then we're going to grab the shade Fudge. No, I'm not doing anything complicated. Don't want to, to be honest. Have so much to do. I feel like I'm struggling to get into like doing my creative videos because they take longer. And I just don't have the time with university, so I'm trying to do more like fun review, fun videos, review videos, cooking videos, which are not that hard to do in the meantime. And then I'll get back in the swing of my, you know, really like colourful, creative makeup looks, which I actually miss doing. But that dissertation is killing me. No joke. Can you see like how pigmented like, these are? I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to use Adorn. This is such a pretty shade. Bronzy vibes I'm getting from this eye look, I'm loving it. Okay, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I don't think I'm gonna do liner, I just actually can't bother. Then we're going to grab some of my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I could just get away with no, none actually. I think I'm just going to... Okay, so I fixed it up a bit, it is a bit dodgy, but I just don't feel like wearing lashes today. Um, so, um, next I'm going to be using my beloved, brand new Smashbox Primer Water Bowl. Thanks to Nina, who got it for me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using this. I love this setting spray so much. So I'm just going to prep my skin. Today I'm going to be mixing my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation with my Body Shop The Lightening the Drops. This one's in the shade Tahoe. I'm going to give it a good mix. Drops. So this is the mixture. I still feel like I need it a little bit lower. So I literally put like a drop like that. And then I just... Can you see it's slowly becoming my colour? Okay, 
This is what I've been doing every time I wear this foundation. I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty foundation brush. I just don't get you. concealer again from makeup revolution I'm just gonna highlight under the eyes I'm also gonna use some of my bobby brown retouching wand in this one's in a shade medium We're gonna get some of my banana dreams powder by W7 again and we're gonna do some baking. I'm gonna do it the Patrick Star way again because it actually gives flawless finish. I'm then going to use some of my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in medium tan. This is more like my skin colour. Blend that in with the powder. Is it very matte? Yes. Does it look flawless? I'm then going to use some of my, again, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep. I love this eye look. Like I just love it, it's just so effortless and bronzy. I just feel like I need to bring it a bit higher on the brown here. We're gonna put some of this peachy, just peachy blush by LA Girl and just brush this on the cheeks. Missed using some highlighter, so I'm gonna use some of my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Baked Illuminator. I don't want to put too much because I've got a lot of texture there. It really emphasizes it and I don't like that. I'm trying to fix my skin at the moment. Some of you are so sweet and say that my skin's lovely, but you know when you just see the flaws yourself? Like I've got so much, I've never had so much texture on my cheeks like that. Lift. Highlight really does lift your cheekbones so I'm just gonna set my face again with this. Oh my god, I forgot how much I love this powder this setting spray. Okay, I'm just gonna let that settle. We're just gonna make all the powders melt together. What are we gonna do next? Oh, we're gonna put some more, some of the eyeshadow, the dark one underneath. Fudge. Fudge is like one of my favorite Anastasia colors. Cause at the end of the day, I did spend my money on this palette. Like why wouldn't I use it? Yes, I'm a blogger and I have to show you guys good products, but this is just a get ready on me. And if I was really getting ready by myself, I would just use this palette. NYX, if you want like dupes of these colours, um, NYX have dupes for these palettes and Makeup Revolution, the Reloaded palettes, they definitely have one with like greens and stuff. So definitely check them out. And we're going to go back in with some more. I still need to get my hands on a soft glam palette. I'm also going to touch up some with some of this NYX Eye Call in Gunmetal Black, I think. 
black metal, sorry. Very smoky. Am I a weirdo? I feel like because I'm so comfortable with you guys now, I'm just myself. It's so weird. Every YouTuber, I'm such a creep, but I always look at YouTubers, like big YouTube gurus first videos because they are so different. Like obviously when you come on camera for the first time, it's so awkward and your voice is different. Like the way you act is a bit different. Like you're more like how you react in front of your aunties and your mom needs you to be on your best, best, best behavior. That's how you are in your first videos. So every time like I look at them, it's just so funny to watch. But yeah, definitely because I'm so much more comfortable with you guys and you, you, to be honest, like my followers are so positive and I rarely get mean comments, honestly. So it just, I just feel so comfortable with you guys and I'm just, just, you know, how I am, how I am with my siblings, to be honest. If you see me how I am with my siblings, then you really, 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 really know me. Okay, what am I going to do next? Oh, I'm going to put a bit of highlighter on my inner corners. We need that inner corner highlight to add to the golden goddess look oh, I love this look this will definitely become an everyday kind of thing I had kept this uh, lipstick for a Maybelline video but I just can't wait to use it and I think this will go really well with this look so this is the new Superstay matte ink lipstick by Maybelline in the shade 75 fighter and it's just that beautiful wooden brown kind of color So beautiful. Just letting it dry, but I no i love this lip color let's let it dry for a bit more guys i washed my hair a day ago and look how weird it is don't you think that's just weird like it's actually annoying me like what the hell Right guys, this is the finished look. So beautiful. I am living for that lip color. Look at that lipstick though. It's so beautiful. I am going to head off. I'm gonna eat quickly and I'm gonna film other videos. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Mm.